Dr. Dan Faniel Todd Vlogs. What's up, Dan fans? Since I can't monetize my vlogs anymore, I went back to school and got a real job as a doctor, boy. Now let's get to work. Yo, 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 your doctor is uh, in the his house. Mm. Describe your symptoms, bro. I I, I don't feel good. Sounds like you need to buy my merch. I prescribe five t-shirts, two sweatshirts, and at least one hat. Whoa, check it out. A dead body. Let's taste it, bro. Daniel <laughs> Todd. Whoa, it's alive. My kids love this idiot. It's Sunday Hot Takes, always groping to find the worst opinions. Today on Hot Takes, who's this week's celebrity sexual harasser? We've got the creep of the week's name right here, and the next unemployed pervert is me. Huh. Says I molested co-workers and installed a secret lock to trap women in my soundproof sex dungeon, or er, office. Panel, do you buy this? Yeah, you locked me in your office and asked me if I wanted to meet the penis. Don't recall that one. Bill, back me up here. Yeah, I mean, you were just bragging about it in the green room. You said she had the biggest cut, which I was, um, planning on reporting to HR during the next, uh, commercial break. We don't book snitches, Bill. Large security guard, you seem here to escort you out of the building. Right, and we're out of time. Whoa! Next week, have the cops busted down the door to my molestation chamber. That steel is three feet thick for a reason. Well, fellow Democrats, about last year's election, the blue wave we've been waiting for still hasn't happened. Eternal overlord Trump has once again vaporized our candidate at the first televised debate, despite Republican promises not to do that anymore. Fool us seven times, shame on us. I propose we send a Democratic hashtag resistance fighter back in time to eliminate eternal overlord Trump while he's still a baby. A racist baby. Oh, please. Violence is bad policy. Our consultants say it never works. Unless you count the annexation of Canada. So much blood. Maple syrup prices are down, though. Can we even build a time machine? I mean, I know they built one in Norway, but they've got public science funding. It's not scalable to our current paradigm. Maybe this is the year Mueller's rush investigation finally- Yeah, it's hard to think of anything we could do differently. Another loss for the failing Democratic Party. Sad. Ooh, what if we ran more celebrities? Okay, class, today we're learning about impeachment. If a president abuses his power or is deemed unfit because of dementia, hypothetically speaking, he can be impeached. So that's how we can get rid of Trump? Some people would certainly like that. Uh, but as a teacher, I'm neutral. Let's say someone introduces the idea to launch the impeachment. Anyone in Congress can. It's a true democracy. Then the House Speaker, who's the leader of the majority party, gets to decide whether the impeachment goes forward. If he happens to say yes, then he'll have to assign a committee to investigate. I love committees! The House Judiciary Committee can investigate for as long as it wants. Then, if a majority agree, the committee approves articles of impeachment, which they pass along for a full vote in the House. The House votes, and if they get a majority, then it's passed along to the Senate. Then, the Senate organizes itself into a court. Two-thirds of the Senate have to agree that he's guilty. Then, if he's convicted, they can vote on whether or not to remove him from office. If he's removed, then his vice president, who was hand-picked by the guy they just impeached, takes power! <sighs> you see? It's technically possible. So how many times has the president been removed from office? Oh, never. I heard presidents can't commit crimes. Oh, no, no, no. They can, and oh, boy, they do. It's just that none of them have been removed after committing them. See? The system works. Ah, uh ha. -huh. I guess we just blew through today's education budget. Back to work, kids. China needs their electronics. 